Hello everybody, it's me, MC Gamer, and I'm going to tune back on into the Zelda Collection. Today, we're going to be looking at a piece of literature. It's a different type of piece of literature than you may have been used to. It is the Legend of Zelda comic book made by the, the Valiant Company. Uh, they've made comics for a long time. Uh, this was first released back in February of 1990. Uh, it had a short run. They had, like, a, I believe, one a month uh, for... I believe up to August of that same year. And I think they had a second run, maybe, but I can't be sure. Um, you'll notice that it's the Nintendo comic system. Uh, I'll take it out here out of the sleeve and we'll take a look at it a little bit closer. I only have the first volume here. Uh, it's something that I need to expand on in my collection. I want to get the full uh, collection. But uh, here it is in all of its glory. Uh, you'll notice it has Link and uh, Zelda on the cover. Zelda has a bow. She's fighting. And on the back, we got Fabio! <laughs> Become the Ultimate Warrior in the Ultimate War. It's actually a advertisement for the game Iron Sword uh, Wizards and Warriors 2. <laughs> and so that's pretty funny. Um, notice it does have the Nintendo seal quality. Uh, so, so this was a time when the uh, Nintendo licensed product actually is what it says. Not the seal. Well, the seal quality is actually on the back. So that's a little interesting. It's, it was like right around that time when they started introducing it. Um, and it's, it's, it's a pretty cool comic book. I'm gonna, I don't want to flip through it too much. has an advertisement here for a Game Boy game, uh, Fist of the North Star. And it's, it, it details a lot of stuff. Um, I believe in this one Link does talk, yeah. Yeah, see right here he's saying, get out of my way! And so it's, it's a really funny comic book. I mean, it's, I don't know, oh, it's Zelda's dirty. She has fallen inside the dirt. I was like, is, is that a smudge? Did I know? Not know that my comic book was damaged? And uh, it has a lot of action, and mainly, uh, if you um, who you're going to call for great Nintendo action, Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> no. Uh, and they did have a uh, Captain N version as well. Uh, they did a whole bunch of comics, actually. Look at this. Get the power, Nintendo power. Hey, it's twice the power. Now it's every month. Rest in peace, Nintendo power. And uh, it is, it's is a pretty cool comic. Um, looks like a guy like Aghanim, but I'm pretty sure that's probably Ganon inside that, under the cloak. Uh, is Ganon inside this? Let me see. I don't know. Um, I don't think Ganon is. Nope, no Ganon. Here you go, and see it, it's advertising. On sale in June. I don't know why it says on sale in June, because this sort of came out in March. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I got my dates wrong. Uh, the history around these things is pretty interesting. You know, this one. What could you do if you could climb the screen and see the game from the midst of an action instead of from the outside? <laughs> Subscribe to your favorite Zelda stuff. Like, 12 issues only for Legend of Zelda. I don't think you even had 12, ever. 12, 12 volumes, but I could be wrong. Uh, I really want to get more of these. Um, now, the one thing to note that's really cool about this, as opposed that you may not, that you probably have noticed actually, is the design of Zelda is actually the same as in the animated series, the uh, movies. You'll notice her design here uh, is the one with like the blue vest, and so uh, that's something really interesting to note because Zelda always actually did wear a dress and everything; she looked like a princess. But then the animated series came out, and that's when they had this design and this. Also in the comics, they did um, call the horse Catherine, uh, not not Epona. Uh, they called it Catherine. Uh, like inside the animated series. So, that is the Zelda comic book series from Valiant. There's a whole bunch of other Zelda comics as well as uh, manga. And, uh, well, I, I don't have a whole ton of these. I want to get more of these. It's something to add to my collection. If you're wondering where I got this one, um, it was about like $5 on eBay. I mean, they're pretty cheap. It's just about finding the right ones and getting the whole collection and getting them inside as nice as condition as I have this one. This one doesn't have any issues with it whatsoever. So. Uh, hopefully, you can find one for yourself, and I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this piece of Zelda history. We'll see you next time.